Good afternoon. Well, autumn so far has been pretty mild, but things have been turning much colder over the course of the weekend. And we've had that mix of sunshine and showers. This picture was sent in by one of our weather watchers in Norfolk. So you can see a bit of blue sky there, but also some big shower clouds around too. Now through the week ahead, we start on that pretty chilly note. Things will then turn much milder through the middle part of the week and then increasingly wet and windy weather is on the way, particularly by the time we get to Friday. So back to the here and now then, the reason it's so cold is because we've got this cold air mass with us. Now yesterday the winds came straight from the north, today they're coming from the northeast. So it's not quite as cold but it's continuing to feed in these showers. Now we've seen the showers over the past few hours across eastern Scotland and eastern England and this is where we'll continue to see them through the afternoon. And also some pretty heavy ones, particularly down across the Channel Isles where there could be the odd rumble of thunder and some hail as well. And we've got those northeasterly winds that will continue to take the edge off the field to the temperatures. So temperatures around about 8 to 11 degrees or so, but feeling cold in that, particularly in the south and the east where you've got the brisk winds as well. Now into this evening hours then, we've got those showers that will continue for a time, particularly around the east coast and also down towards the Channel Isles once again. The coldest conditions will be towards the northwest where we've got the clearer skies. So here we could see temperatures as low as minus four or even minus five degrees in one or two spots. So early Monday morning, scenes like this one, certainly a frost around but not just a frost, we're also likely to see a few patches of mist or even freezing fog too. Now any of that mist, frost and fog should clear away by around about the late morning. And then it's sunny and dry for many parts of the country on Monday. Still one or two rogue showers, especially around coastal areas. Temperatures are still on the cool side for the time of year, around about 8 to 11 degrees. And then things start to change through Monday night and into Tuesday. We've got an area of low pressure. Now that's already brought some disruptive weather across Central Europe. It'll be pushing its way northwards. And there's some uncertainty about exactly how far east or west this rain is going to get. But at the moment, it looks like we'll have some rain for the southeast of England and East Anglia as well on Tuesday. But for the rest of the country, variable amounts of cloud, perhaps one or two showers. Temperatures still rather cool for the time of year, around about 7 to 11 degrees. But it does turn a little bit milder on into Wednesday as those winds start to come in from more of a southerly direction. Still plenty of showers on Wednesday as low pressure moves its way from west to east. So a rather unsettled picture. Temperatures not quite as cold, 13 degrees or so in London, but we've still got that cold air holding on across the north and the northwest. Now moving through into Thursday and this frontal system lingers in the southeast. It could pep up for a time. So I think Thursday is likely to start off fairly wet across parts of southeast England and East Anglia too. That should clear away and then we're all in the drier conditions through the day on Thursday. Some sunshine on offer, temperatures still rather cool for the time of year but starting to turn a bit milder in the south, around 12 degrees in London, still only 8 or 9 across Scotland and Northern Ireland too. And then heading into Friday we've got another area of low pressure. Now this is the remnants of tropical storm Oscar so it'll bring some milder conditions because it's got tropical air mixed in with it but it'll also bring some wet and windy weather at the moment it looks like that'll push in across western parts later on on friday a windy day wherever you are but driest conditions in the east so things turning a little bit milder but do watch out for that wet and windy weather by the end of the week bye bye